Hello game devs, welcome back to another GDevelop 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will be learning how to use the Pathfinder behavior in a platformer game whereby um, a sprite follows a player cooperating or acting as an enemy. So some time ago, um, someone asked a question on this and I kind of figured, figured out that a tutorial on this would be essential. So let's have a preview of this. Um, So this is my um, player here and this is my follow that is weak this is the character that follows the player so I named it follow um as you can see um the character comes close to it follows um a player using the path finding behavior so in this tutorial I will be showing you how to do that close minimize here we go so let's add in an object sprite um rename this Follow, add an animation, add um, let's add in the idle animation, add an animation, um, jump animation, um, add an animation, add um, let's add in a work, open um, loop, and apply. So pull this into my scene and. Now um, let's add in the behaviors, edit objects, behaviors, add um, a behavior, first of all, let's add a platformer character, um, add another behavior, which is a part finding behavior. So I'm um, on check default controls, apply and preview. Okay, so nothing happens yet. Um, because we haven't filled in our event, so just close this and let's go to our new scene events. Add a new group, um, rename this part finder, add a sub condition, add a condition, um, or add a sub condition, um, key pressed. Key press. That's the right, right key. Press. Add a subcondition. Key press. Um. Left. Left key press. So if any of these conditions is true, add an action. Move. Um. Move to position. Move to follow. Destination X. Um. X position, so we need to move it to our player's X position and our player's Y position. Apply. Okay, so now if any of these keys are pressed, it will move follow to our player X and Y position. So here we go. Um, okay. So it works, but we have an issue here. Our player is not supposed to rotate. So close this. Um, there's a way to fix that. Edit object behaviors. So that's it's because this is checked rotate object. So uncheck that. Apply. Um, preview. So here we go. Um, it's no um more rotating. So let's add in an, um an event to um make the walk animation. That's to run the walk animation. Close this. Um, use an event. Add an empty event. Um, add a condition. Speed. That's the speed of object follow. Sign of test is um greater than value zero. So when the speed of follow is greater than zero, add an action, animation, change animation of follow, modify sign set to value. Remember two is our walk animation. Okay, so we'll change the animation of follow to two. So here we go. Um, as you can see, this is now moving. The legs are moving, so we need to do the same for the jump 
animation close this um add an empty vent add a condition is um jumping so this is why we made follow a platformer object so follow is jumping um add an action animation change the animation of follow modify um set to um value one okay add an empty vent add a condition um is falling follow that's follow is falling add an action animation change the animation of follow um modify sign set to value one okay preview so um here we go so now players jumping um changes the animation of our player to the jump animation now we need our player to um flip um itself when it is behind our player so we need our follow to flip itself and not move backwards here we go so close this um here add an empty vent um add a condition x position compare the x position of an object so the x position of follow sign of fest is um greater than x position of the x position of player apply so the x position of follow is greater than the x position of our player add an action um flip Flip horizontally, flip on um, follow horizontally, activate flipping, yes. Okay, add an empty vent, add a condition, x position, x position of an object, follow, sign of test is less than x position of player, sorry, x position of player, apply okay preview so here as you can see um it flips our player oh sorry close this um add an action flip horizontally um follow flip follow horizontally no okay preview now here we go as you can see it flips uh, um follow depending on the direction of our player so now um we need to add in an event to stop um our player from walking as you can see um the walk animation is still active so close this um add an empty event add a condition speed um the speed of follow object follow that's the speed of follow sign of test is equal to value um zero okay add an action um animation chain animation of follow um modification modification sign um set to value zero okay preview so um here we go um this works perfectly as you can see when our player stops moving the um sprite that's um follow stops again when it reaches the position it stops so here we go and that's how it's done